are here at the location. There is a beautiful sunrise. It is me and Eagle Eyes saying hello to all of you. And uh, we are definitely gonna share some beautiful moments with you here. As I said, this is gonna be a very special little video. We're gonna show you some of the infrastructures with the barracks that the Germans had that are representative of the uh, um, coastal artillery positions along the uh, Atlantic world. So we're gonna do something special. We're gonna take away the colors here and uh, we're just gonna do black and white so you can get the feeling of the ambience and the atmosphere that the German soldier experienced when they were here. So let's find some of these structures and uh, enjoy. So we're coming up the road here. This is the gate and up there is the very, very first structure. And that is the guard position where the guard crew was guarding the uh, huge entrance area that is here. And uh, imagine this thing here where the soldiers were ready to see who came in that gate. They were standing on the porch there. Every time you go up and down here, they would stop you, check your vehicle, check for papers. You most likely would have to stop outside of the gate. But just imagine this building here would be the first thing you would encounter coming up here to this very, very active German World War II coastal artillery position. It is almost as it was during the Second World War. The only difference is that they put some special tiles on the outside, but the original wooden planks are still behind those panels. There is something very special about finding the structures that are here today from that time frame, knowing that so many men were here there were about 240 men at most at this location and the purpose was solely to get into the area, establish a huge gun placement and stay. There is some kind of structure that was there. Let me bring you in so you can see it. Right there, so that's going to be checked out as well. Down here on these flats, there used to be four or five more barracks, but they've been leveled completely. They're not here anymore, but they were all here in the fields here. But uh, at least there are like six or seven of them still here that we can enjoy and show you. That is a prime example of what it used to look like and how it is today, they restored it. It is beautiful, absolutely beautifully restored with new windows, some decos that are time frame correct. But this is one of the Mannschaft Barakes where the crew members were. So as I said, over 200 soldiers here at most and uh, this is where they stayed. Let's go up and have a look on the back side there next to the wall. And you can see they squeezed it in there. So it will be protected from bomb raids coming from the horizon here. And that's very typical. You take what you have and you integrate that so you can have the building protected as much as possible. So we're going to have a little peek in the back here. And sometimes you can see here are old bricks and stuff. Sometimes when we go to places like this, you can actually find things that's been thrown out behind the barracks. And we have found bottles and uh, perfume things and toothpaste, all kinds of stuff, even buttons, as I said. But this is the backside. And you can see how they integrated the barrack next to the wall here. And something very special with all of these barracks here is something that you can barely see over there. Each and every barrack had their own protection shelter. And that is something that we're gonna look upon. What is that? Some kind of brick thing being put up there. I don't know. 
But let's, let's go around there and check out that pile of rocks you can see in the distance there. See, uh, the terrain is very, very steep. Just imagine, very often, this, the bottom floor will be like a shelter as well, but they didn't have to worry because almost everywhere they built underground shelters like that. Some of them are closed here today, some of them are open, and we're gonna find one that is open so you can have a look at. But that is basically where the German soldiers could run into if there was a bomb raid, air raid from the Allied. And you can see how close proximity to the barrack it is. There is the barrack and there is the uh, shelter. Uh, let's continue. We're gonna find, uh, did you find a shelter that is open? Oh, yeah, yeah okay, we're gonna go down there. There's another little thing, very typical. They're using the rocks in the area. Just a very lightweight thing and an open gate. And I'm thinking that must have been for a vehicle or something like that, because it looks very primitive, but at the same time, enough to just cover up a vehicle that could be ready down here at the uh, field. So beautiful. That is one of the shelters that we're going to go into. And we're going to do that. I'm going to use the Olight Sega 2 Pro. Fantastic light, you can see here that it will give off some small LEDs to show you the level you are at when it comes to power and the battery consumption. So that's going to be cool to use. So let's go inside here and see where the Germans hid. <laughs> yeah, there's like one room here and there's another one here. So why don't we crank up that light and go in here. There you go. Nothing much, but it would probably do more than enough to protect the crews. Strangely enough, there is wood planks on the top. That is not often to see. That is very special. Very often it will be concrete poured on top. So we have this place here. Basically, just a second room. A little bit different in configuration, but it's painted white and that is actually how it was made by the Germans. A lot of people don't get that, I think that was done post-war, but they did that to keep them light and bright and would be easier to kind of feel that it was a hospitable, uh, hospitable uh, environment. All right, let's continue. If I'm not mistaken, that used to be the mess hall for the enlisted and privates and you can see why right up there is another shelter and that is so that the crew could run out from this quarter here i think there was made an extension on the side there after the war see if they have been restored they have been kind of modernized but they are basically what the germans put up here and i have to say they look so stunning should we go up and have a look at the shelter? Yeah, let's do that. Again, you can see here, very nicely integrated into the terrain. Baracke or mess hall here. It's the backside of the mess hall. And uh, let's see what this is all about. Yeah, it's a very small little shelter. But you can see they took advantage by using rocks concrete, mix it together, and then in the end, they have what they needed. So let's fire up this light here now, and enter back in time. Wow, this 90 degree switch over here is to protect from blasts coming from the outside. This is actually pretty small, if you ask me. Okay, not that small, but it can also have been used as a storage. And you see that actually integrated it all the way in towards here. And are you crazy? There are actually ceramics here. Oh yeah, that is definitely German stuff. That is crazy. That is German pottery or ceramics from the Second World War, just laying there. 
how crazy is that? So probably someone actually just dug it out from under there. I don't know why it's been filled in like that. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot more actually. Yeah, it's definitely German stuff. <laughs> it's just laying here next to the kitchen. Crazy. There's actually some kind of Yeah, okay, good. Very nice. So, little shelter with some secrets still inside. That is fascinating. All right, let's check this place out more. Did you know that you can become a World War II History Hunter team member and the artifacts here could be passed on to you in this manner and fashion here by creating beautiful World War II dioramas and displays, you can be the future keeper of something very, very special by the history and the history hunting that we share together. Check out the link in the video description, you can click that and you can become a patron team member if you want to. Different kind of perks with for your eyes only videos, travel vlogs, restoration projects, all of that good stuff and if you want to know more, check out the supporter videos in the beginning of each month but now let's continue our little adventure so we're coming up to what i think was the officers baracke and mess hall a little bit modified from what it used to be just imagine german officers sitting there on the porch it's a little bit better kind of made for enjoying life very often the officers were high up in the terrain <laughs> the hierarchy hierarchy is everywhere in the german military system and this was very important for them to show that but that is definitely an incredible structure and I think that porch if that could tell us so many stories just imagine sitting there in the evening listening to the radio because they had that and uh, all the stories about home what they longed for who they kind of loved and uh, maybe a little beer bottle and a wine bottle was shared right there. Little side entrance of the officer's barracks. Again, you just have to imagine Hans and Helmut coming out from there, sitting in the back here, maybe smoking their pipe, talking about the fatherland and uh, the procedures to come. Maybe they have an intelligence report putting on a higher alert of uh, alarms condition and everybody's very alert. Wow, this area is huge and who knows what is in the forest around here. Wow, if you want to you can make a guess. Yep, that's a toilet, <laughs> outside toilet, but that is not for the uh, officers, this is for the enlisted men because we're coming up towards one of the most preserved and uh, original looking structures that are here. So, but that is actually a toilet. This, as far as we know, used to be a storage. I'm not sure of what. The windows are original, that door on the left is original. Wow. That is one of the uh, structures that's been less kind of altered during the years, actually has the green color, dark green color, just to tell you that. And that's what the buildings normally were. They were dark green with camouflage pattern actually. So they were not red or yellow or anything like that. They didn't want to stand out. They were blended in with nature. This is the shelter for that building you saw. Again, every one of these has its own shelter and it's just a very small one. And you can see it's not far from the structure. The structure is right there and they could run in here. So you can see again, huge rocks combined with concrete on the top. The little 90 degree entrance area that prevents the blast of getting in there in full force. So why don't we crank up the O-Light again and check it out. It's not, I'm, I'm almost touching the, the roof here. Looks to be maybe some shelves or something in here. 
That is special. Some yellowish, whitish paint there. I'm guessing they had this for storage, actually. Oh, it's strange. Very strange. But that's what it is, small shelter. On the top there, which has a beautiful view, there is, I think that will be the last barrack. We're gonna check on the top there as well, find out what we saw first, but uh, that is pretty cool. Just imagine being up there, sitting, overlooking the valley. Beautiful summer morning. And you can see the deer is coming by and the foxes. Let's go out and let's go up there and check that out. Yep, pretty much a little barrack from the past. Still here for us to see and learn from. And I'm actually stepping on some steps here. And just imagine being a German soldier way, way away from home. And this would be your home. You would stay here maybe for several years. And uh, that building was your home. Very strange feeling. Someone takes you away from everyone, everyone you love, everyone you care for, maybe your work, everything, and you're being put up here. And they said, do your duty. It's pretty, pretty tough. Wow, what a true pleasure, honor, and privilege it is to be able to show you things like this. It's not too often you come across the original German barracks standing there. Well, a little modified condition, all of that, but nevertheless, they are here as the Germans were. And uh, it is a part of the history. It's an important part of the history. It's important that we see it, learn it, and share it, especially with the younger generation, so we can kind of figure out a little bit by ourselves what happened and how it happened. So I'm very glad that I could uh, share that with you. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. See you later. Absolutely. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and bye-bye. Uh,